Hi guys, and welcome to the March 2015 Minions Monthly Update. Uh, in this video, I'm going to tell you what has gone on and what is coming in the near future. Now, this time around, I'm actually going to start with what is happening next week, because next week is going to be a bit of a strange week. It is Easter holiday here in Norway, and Easter is actually a pretty big holiday here, almost as big as Christmas. A lot of people take off time from work. The schools are almost always shut and people take their families, go off to the mountains, visit other family and so on. And so, of course, I have my kids here for the whole week. As you can imagine, that will make recording anything new pretty much impossible. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to have a, a Let's Play Fallout New Vegas with kids screaming in the background. So it's going to be very difficult next week to actually have any new recording. The good news is, if you're a Witcher fan, I have played The Witcher pretty far into the game. I'm close to finishing the game and I, I have easily enough footage to release one video per day. All I have to do is edit it, render it, and upload. Now, I can do that. I can do that with the kids flying around the house. I can get that done. It, it shouldn't take too long, and, you know, I, I hope to get one episode daily. Great news if you're a Witcher fan. I do understand not so great if you're not. And I do apologize, but there's not a lot I can do about that. I mean, the kids are here, and to be honest, I'd like to spend a little time with them as well, do a few sort of holiday things with them. And, uh, you know, <laughs> that's, that is how it is. I may do some live streaming. I may do some Skyrim mod testing. Yes, there might be some noise in the background, but that's not too big a problem for mod testing. So I may carry on with mod testing perma, so keep your eyes um, open for that. Um, but no real actual recording, no immersive Let's Plays. Oh, and if you guys could do me a favor, if people post things on the videos on the lines of where is Fallout Vegas and so on because they haven't seen this video if you could just link them to this video that's one of the reasons I'm covering that right at the start so thank you for that on the subject of let's plays uh, I've still got my Fallout New Vegas and of course my Witcher let's play on the go but the Skyrim let's play has come to an end the Helgen Reborn which was a great mod has come to an end and people are probably wondering what is next for Skyrim well, I'm thinking of doing another Skyrim mod. I was thinking Worm's Tooth, but I'm open to suggestions. Of course, it will almost certainly be with Richard. I do know Richard does seem to be a little overpowered, and perhaps people want me to use another character. The problem with that is, all of my old characters are overpowered. They're all level 45 and above which, let's face it, in Skyrim makes them overpowered. Skyrim is a very easy game once you get to, to the high levels. You tend to outgrow Skyrim, and as soon as every single character I have has, well, not has killed Alduin, has killed Alduin or could kill him, that pretty, make, pretty much makes the rest of Skyrim reasonably easy. And it couldn't be any other way, really, if you think about it. I could, of course, start a new character, and I'm sure a lot of people want me to, but I'm a long way off that. I really am. I'm not saying never, but I'm not ready to start a new Skyrim Let's Play. Of course, I have played Skyrim an awful lot, pretty much to death. Um, and whilst the quest mods hold a lot of interest for me, the vanilla quests, not so much. And I'm not totally sure how well you could get a new character through without covering a lot of the vanilla quests. Now, I'm not saying never, because, you know, it, it might be interesting to come back one day in the future, start a new character, a completely different type of character to the ones I've played in previous games. So it may happen, but it's not going to be soon. So it's probably going to be Richard for whatever quest mod I decide. I am going to be finishing The Witcher, I'm going to play Witcher 2 immediately afterwards, and of course, once I finish that, hopefully Witcher 3 will have been out, you guys will have been able to play it, and I'll do a let's play of that, and you'll be able to watch that without spoilers, so that's the plan for that. Obviously Fallout New Vegas is just going to carry on going, I'm uh, really enjoying that let's play, it, it sort of 
it moves between becoming kind of dark and then kind of amusing uh, from episode to episode. But it, it's just it's a it's a really fun game to play with that character with Jack. Other games that I might let's play, well, it would have to come between other let's plays. I'm only going to have three on the go at once, so perhaps I will do a brief horror let's play between Skyrim let's plays. I might. I'm going to look at my collection of games, some of them are horror games, and think about doing a quick let's play. I'm, I'm looking at my collection of games and trying to find things that would be short. I mean, The Witcher was not a good choice if I wanted a short game. I mean, that's like, that's going to be a 65, 70 episode let's play. It's just, it's a big game if you do all the, the quests. But sometimes some of these horror games are between, you know, 15 to 20 episodes maximum, which would be a good length. So I'm, I'm looking in, I'm looking into that, but I can't promise it. For things like game reviews, I am continuing to make the odd game review, and I have a few more planned in my head, so keep your eyes open for those. And as I've mentioned, I will be live streaming Skyrim mod testing. I'm going to be trying to do that at least once a week. Uh, not only is that pretty good, uh, a pretty good way to interact with you guys, it's also a good way for me to test and get feedback whilst testing, so I try things I might not have thought of, and then I can, of course, submit bug reports if I find them to the mod author. I will, of course, be live streaming games in the evening in my free time, but that is a little bit of a separate issue. Uh, right now, I've restarted XCOM. I'm using the latest version of the Long War mod, so that is on the go. I'm still playing Payday on and off with you guys, and there are several other games that I am going to try in live stream. I, I played uh, Dying Light, I've played Dead Light, S similar genre, different style, a side-scrolling zombie survival game. Actually, more of a puzzle survival game, actually. But I have plenty of others that may well be streamed, so keep your eyes open for those. But do remember, that is what I do in my free time, and it could just randomly happen at any moment without any warning, and I do apologize for that. But again, it is my free time. In general community news, the website is still in development. I have seen the latest version, and they're getting ready to give me a tutorial on how the hell to use the new skin. And after that, I will probably release it and then ask them to start working on the advanced search engine. But at least then we will have a website that's skinned and kind of useful. The Steam group is still growing. We're close to 8,000 people now. And of course, I am still a curator there. So if you want to follow me, I will be recommending certain games. Uh, they will appear in your activity feed. Oh, and of course, you will find links to all of that sort of thing down below. My Steam profile, the Steam group, and our TeamSpeak server. Again, get yourself connected to TeamSpeak, and if you want to join me for a game of Payday, uh, that's, how, that's how we do it. What I'll do is I'll start a game up, and I'll say, right, I'm looking for three people, and I'll, I'll say, right, there's the waiting room. Here's the password, first three people in, and we go, off we go. So get yourself set up on TeamSpeak if you want to join us. Um, even if you don't want to play Payday, but want to play something else, there's a big community now, and they play a variety of games. I may also do a Patreon stream, a Q&A stream on YouTube sometime. Keep your eyes open for that. I will, of course, send you an email regarding the time, the place, and so on. And that is about it. I want to keep this below 10 minutes. I'm trying to get better at this sort of thing. So to give you the brief update of what has gone on and what is going on for the month. So there it is, the month of March 2015. And I will see you guys for April. And until then, of course, have fun.